Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Wild Urban Adventures. Today we are here on the Mississippi fishing pool four using three-way rigs with my two flies. You can use this uh, system with any kind of flies, any kind of bait. But today we're using two flies and uh, my other anti flies. So stay tuned. This is how I'm rigging it up. I'm not using a three-way today since I'm using such a long leader. I'm using a about a five to six feet leader. And I don't want to use a three-way swivel because it's gonna hit my the eye my eyelet and it's gonna mess up my eyelet on my rod. So I'm just tied a loop to loop with the long leader, five six foot leader for my fly, and then about a 12 to 13 inch leader for my pencil weight. Basically, very very simple setup right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how I pump my flies. Basically, when you pump your flies, your sinker's sitting here. As you cast it out, it's gonna be sitting on the bottom. And you're, you're just gonna slowly lift up your rod. And you, the thing is that you want your your weight to kind of be planted on the, on the bottom. So as the current is pushing, you're just gonna slowly, slightly lift up your rod. And basically your fly is just gonna start moving up, just little by little. You're gonna feel a little bit of a bounce with uh with your weight, but it's not gonna be too bad. You're not dragging it. So yeah, let's uh let's cast it out and let me show you guys. So now I'm downstream. I just want to keep my rod a little lower, right around 45 degrees or so. From right here, I just want to slowly lift and then let the weight kind of sit on the bottom and I just kind of lower my the tip of my rod so that the fly is kind of like drifting back but the sinker is still in the one spot and then just lift. And then once I feel the and then once I feel the weight, I just kind of stop and just let it drift down again. So basically this is uh, what pumping flies are. So the fly is going to drift behind, lift up until I feel the sinker or the weight. It's It might pick up the weight a little bit, but it's not going to be too bad. And with this technique, you can go a little faster if you want to, or just pump a, just kind of like give it a little quick jerk. Or you can just slowly lift until you feel the weight and then just kind of let go. But still keeping your line tight. Just like that. And again, you don't want your line to be too loose where you can't feel it. So this technique is really good for using the current of the river to your advantage. Hmm. Felt a lot of tab, I'm not sure if that was a fish or not, but. And I'm also using a monofilament leader instead of floral. Mono is more buoyant. So I keep the fly up a little higher than floral carbon. And I'm just using, I'm just using a six to eight pound mono. This is another technique that I like to use is uh, you place in my fingers, placing the line right on my fingers right here. And actually increases the, the sensitivity so you can actually feel it when the fish pulls, you can feel it pulling against your, your fingers. That's if uh, you have, if you have a heavy rod where it's not as sensitive, this is a great technique to use. I like using a sensitive rod plus placing it right here. So it adds an extra sensitivity so I can feel the when the fish bites. And I can feel the bottom. So it really helps to add to to uh, your fish catching abilities. Uh not yet. Oh I mean nice, huh? Yeah. A little small guy. Yep. Oh, a sauger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fish stick right here. Look 
how beautiful they are. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> Small one. Yeah, I'll just I'll just bring it up. <laughs> Look at that, that one inhaled it. That one was definitely hungry right there. Look at that, I took the whole tube fly in. Wow. Took it all the way in, huh? Yeah, I took it all the way in. Sogger, huh? Uh yep, sogger. Oh, it's hooked all the way back here. Look at that. Beautiful sauger. Let's let this one go. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it might be a keeper. Close. Good to <laughs> <laughs> nice, look at that. 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half. Yeah, 15 and a half. Yeah. Good size. Oh. Nice, walleye too. Okay. Oh, there goes one. Maybe. Might be a keeper. Oh, no, lost up another. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice. First wallet for you, right? Yeah, Let's first one. <laughs> <laughs> right on the pink. Look at that, my guys. Alright guys, let me show you guys how to hook up these uh, tube flies. So you have your leader right here. I picked, selected my fly already. Basically, I'm just going to put the line through the fly first. Just move it out of the way. And for the hooks, I like to use any straight eye hook. I like using these uh, Gamagatsu, these stinger hooks, the B10, the B10S I think it was. You always want to make sure that it is a straight, straight eye hook. You don't want it bent. And just go ahead and spot on there. You use a polymer knot. I just like using a simple cinch knot. You do the cinch or the cinch improved. Basically, you just tie it on real quick like that. Trim your tail end right there. Make sure it's tight, and that's basically it. Now you're just ready to ready to fish. This is the little conjunction tube right here. That's what kind of holds your hook in. Just pull your line. Just make sure that it gets tucked in there, like so. In the hook, you can move it up or down. Doesn't matter. I like I like putting it up so it is uh, hidden in inside the inside the bucktail and now you're ready to fish just like this and uh, this is already set up with a three-way all you do now is just cast and just start pumping the cool thing about these flies is that you can use different size hooks you can use a uh, shorter hooks longer hooks and if the body's too long if I didn't put all the body material here I can actually cut it shorter and then just throw the conjunction tube back on so the hook is a little bit closer or I could use a smaller hooks or big hooks and that's basically it so yeah these flies are very universal very easy to use and you just use these they're very similar to a fly that has a hook on so yeah very very similar and they are just as effective as any other flies out there it's just a different technique 
different uh, technique of using flies and and it's a real fun. I mean, it's, it's fun just to try something different. I know a lot of saltwater guys that use uh, two flies. A lot of steelhead fly fishermen use two flies. So, yeah, this is where I, I used to use these flies is from uh, swinging for steelheads. If you guys are interested in some of these, yeah, just uh, message me right here. This is my email right here. And uh, yeah, you guys can order some or you guys can just visit my website. Still got it. First white bass. <laughs> there he goes. Right on the two fly. Oh yeah, there he goes. Nice. First white bass of the season. Nice. Look at that. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, really? Jonathan, this is a good camera, huh? You're talking. No, it's a, it's a smaller one. Yeah, yeah, white bass now. Oh. Usually holding the rod right above the reel like this. That way so I have more control than compared to holding it like this. Because if you hold it like this for a while, your fingers are between your fingers and it's going to hurt. So you just hold it above, finger right here. And then I have a little bit more leverage too. I have a long handle, if I, if I catch a real big fish, I can just put it on my hip and use my hip to help me reel it in. If not, I have a little bit more leverage up here too compared to holding it down here. I know a lot of people hold it down here. <clears throat> Let this boat go through first. Not a lot of people hold it down here, but if you hold it down here, you're gonna get uh, less leverage. So either this way, which is the second best, especially for a longer rod. Shorter rod, you want to hold it right here, or a lighter rod, which is fine. But for longer rods, yeah, just hold it above the reel, just like so. And then line through your fingers, line on line on your fingers, and just pump it just like this. Every time it hits the bottom. I just uh, pump it up, and as the line, as the fly is kind of going back in, I'm just following the, the fly back in, just like that. And usually, when the fly is, is falling back, is is when the fish hits. This is going to end it for the video. Hopefully you guys uh, learned something about uh, two, fly, two fly fishing and how to use two flies. And there will be more videos of two flies and and uh, using flies for walleyes and white bass. As always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen guys. See you guys on the next video.